It was an elegant, sophisticated service, entirely befitting a woman described as the queen of Australian fashion. And it was Carla Zampatti herself who set the tone. I'd like to be remembered as someone who helped women achieve what they all have achieved by giving them a product that they could wear to give them confidence. Carla Zampatti designs were worn by women for life's big events. Today was one of those. If she was alive today, I am sure she would say this is the best dress funeral she has ever attended. But amid the glamour, politics and business, it was her family that took centre stage. She was a demanding boss and a demanding mother and saw that as a good thing because she'd achieved more than she'd ever dreamed of. And she wanted the same for you. And as a family and through this business, we are committed to continuing your legacy of inspiring and empowering and supporting women. Former Governor-General Quentin Bryce said her close friend defied expectations. I was impressed by her honesty, candour, her sense of sisterhood and solidarity, her railing against chauvinism, against those who begrudged women opportunities and success. Her passionate love of the arts was also recognised. Her fall at the opening night of La Traviata poignantly took place amidst the high art and beauty she had long loved and promoted. Her designs were superb, everyone knows that, but her character was wonderful. Her love of fast cars was well known, but it was a far more tranquil departure for Carla Zampatti as she was applauded on her final lap. Carla Zampatti is survived by her three children and nine grandchildren.